Hello everybody, this is Stephanie. It's Saturday, February 5th. Yes, it is. So, anyways, what an incredible day it was today. Here in Sarasota, it was about 85 degrees today. And my store is getting busier. Because people are springing it up in the spring. Yes, they are. So, what did I do today? Mm. I finally did something about this. When we come back, I'll tell you exactly what it was. Okay, so anyways, tomorrow I finally have a day off. It's Sunday tomorrow. And when I got home today, I was so exhausted. I made something to eat. And then I had a small bowl of cereal. And then I took a nap. I took an hour nap. And here I am now hoping that when I go to bed tonight, it doesn't interfere with my sleep, but it probably will. So, like I was saying, what an incredible long week. I was scheduled this week to work six straight days. And um, it's hard sometimes to come straight home and do your uh, odds and ends, uh, whether you're cooking or you're prepping for tomorrow or you have errands to run. It's very difficult for me to go to bed on time, knowing I have to work a six day stretch. But I managed. And finally, I thought this day would never come <laughs> that I would come home and say, God, I can finally rest now. Ugh. So anyways, uh, when I started the video, I said that I finally did something about what it was I was talking about. Okay. So anyways, uh, when I was at work, I purchased, this, I purchased a tire inflator, a pump, because my old pump shit the bed. And I haven't ridden my bike in about five months, to be honest with you. In about five months, maybe less. But today I came home after purchasing my pump um, fill up my tires and I was so excited to get on the bike and go for a ride <laughs> so I did so I did uh, I think three laps around my community just to stretch my legs and get that feeling back so I'm excited because I tell you when you slow down your activities your metabolism slows down and I'm good at telling people how to stay in shape and what to eat and what not to eat. But in my own personal life, sometimes I'm just the opposite. I did good all last year. I rode my bike every single month. But I pinpointed what happened with my plans. You see, last year, if you can recall, I went on a couple of dating sites and I was meeting people. And then when I finally met someone, my personal care kind of took 
the back seat. That's bad. Bad. Because I started to go out to eat more. Um, and I wasn't watching what I ate. I always tell people that when they're dating, to never change the things they do that they love. Whether it's eating healthy, whether it's staying active, bike riding, swimming, jogging, whatever. Mine was bicycling. And I was doing faithful for the entire year, three bike rides a week or 30 miles a week, 10 day each day on those three days, every single week, 30 miles. And that was helping me stay slim. Along with eating lesser calories. But when I started dating, and the person I was dating lived out of town, I found myself planning to go there and do things and her come here. But as you know, I'm not very lucky when it comes to relationships. And when that relationship ended, my poor diet and my less exercise stay the same as it was when I was dating. Going out to eat once in a while, shopping and buying the wrong foods. So tomorrow, I start riding again. I did today, I did three laps, which is about a mile and a half. Around the community, that's a lot because you got traffic in and out. And uh, it was just to stretch my legs to get reacquainted. So my plan is to eat less calories, eat what I like, but moderation or less calories. And if you've been following my videos, I talk about how I have a weakness for ice cream. Yeah. The past few months, I've been getting bombarded by ice cream or I've been bombarding myself. I just thought that if I can buy those small little Ben and Jerry's, those small little cups, that I wouldn't eat the entire cup. Well, when I started with those Ben and Jerry's small cups or little quads, I was eating maybe less than a half a cup of ice cream because the entire thing is about a cup. And I was eating less than a half cup, about a quarter of a cup. I did that for a few weeks, but <laughs> like if I'm watching a movie and I got my Ben and Jerry's over here, after I have my quarter cup, which is less than a half cup, I would fantasize about that ice cream and the flavor is still lingering in my mouth. So I'm like, hmm, that was good. I should go back and get some more. The problem was I was going back to get more, but I wasn't putting it back. <laughs> so therefore, um, I got really bold because when I went shopping, I was buying not just um, one container, I was buying two, three containers. And I did some bad things the past few, the past five months. I went through the three containers in one week because they're only about a cup. And in some instances, I was demolishing the whole cup in one day or just one sitting. So, yeah, I'm human just like you guys are. And I can't blame a relationship. I can't blame because my tire, my bike was flat. It's my fault. I got lazy, okay? I, I was weak because I let the thoughts of it defeat me. But today's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. And I'm gonna get up really early tomorrow and do a little bike ride around my neighborhood. And being Sunday, it's perfect 
because if you get up early enough, there's less traffic on the road. So I'll get up, I'll have a very, very light breakfast, put on something comfortable, and do my little bike ride to get reacclimated with riding my bike. I have been thinking about buying a pump for months, and I finally did it. Okay. I'm a little stingy on money because, you know, I'm saving for a deposit of my car. So everything, every spending I watch, you know, that pump was only $35, you know, and I, I finally did it. So what I did was I didn't get it soon enough because the pump I wanted, they didn't have. They have the ones that you plug in your cigarette lighter in your car. It has a handle. It's got LED lights on it. If you're out by the roadside and you have to put air in your tire or something like that. And it's got a little gauge on it. And it's blue. <laughs> so I pumped up my tire. I got two bikes. I pumped up my tires. And I neatly put that pump in this box. And I'm going to leave it in the trunk of my car. Like that, whenever, whenever I need to to use it, okay, I know where it is. I don't have to go through the whole house, uh, tearing up the house trying to find it. I know where it is. When my air goes down, I put the air back in the bike, and I continue my bike riding. Okay, so that's that. So what are the plans do I have for tomorrow? Um, I might do some very light shopping, even though I don't need to do groceries. I'm going to do some light shopping. With all the craziness that's going on in this world, we don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to stock up a little bit more on some groceries. Um, I have three cases of water. I have mega tons of toilet paper. But I'm going to keep buying a little bit of everything every single week because you don't know what's going to happen. What kind of emergency we're going to have in our lives. Um, I just can't keep thinking or, or I just can't keep my eyes off the news and watch what's going on in the world. I feel very terrible what's going on in other countries. Um, so that's what's going on right now. And I might actually... Towards the evening, um, later evening, maybe get my beach chair and um, go to the beach and just relax and catch a sunset with my chair and maybe something nice to drink. That's what I'll do tomorrow. I just may bring my camera and do a little videotaping at the beach. That would be nice. It'd be different. Uh, right now... Um, I'm charging up my batteries for my drone. Uh, it's a good thing to not let your drone sit for a long time. Uh, because the software that's in the drone needs updating um, every couple of months. It all depends what the company puts out. What features that they have that you can benefit from. So yesterday I checked out for any new um, any new software there's, there hasn't been any new software in about two months but my drone is up to date and it's good to keep the batteries charged and and uh, make sure you're using them not just sit there because if they deplete then the battery will be no good so I'm charging all three of my batteries and tomorrow um, after my bike ride, I might get my drone and take it to a park and let it fly around a little bit just to stretch its legs. I have a coworker that uh, he also has the same uh, brand drone and he said he hasn't taken his out in about a year. Well, guess what? If he's not charging his batteries regularly, it's just going to die. Then he's got to go out and buy new batteries. And the batteries are not, not cheap. They're expensive. Especially being LiPo batteries. So, a little while ago, I got some tea here. 
is cherry mixed with lemon. <laughs> so, um, the other thing that happened this week was I had a part-time interview at a, a store in the main mall we have here in Sarasota. And she said that she would contact, contact me if I'm hired. We'll see. But I'm not going to wait for her to contact me. I'm going to go ahead and keep applying at other places because I'm very, very serious about locating a part-time job. And I don't want to make things hard on me on purchasing a vehicle with just one job and taking a, a monthly payment for that, for car payments and insurance on that car. So I'd rather have a separate income for that, a, part, a little part-time job that can support that. And I'm not gonna be straining myself financially. So the other thing is my brother contacted me last weekend and he told me that a family friend has discovered he has stage four cancer. He has prostate cancer. And um, I was sad about that. Um, one of my other brothers that we have a weak relationship with is a lot closer to him than I am. But I did call him and speak. His name is Andy. I did call him just to let him know that, you know, I'm here if he wants anybody to talk, talk with. And uh, just to show that uh, I care. Um, I'm sure that we all have someone or know someone that had cancer. And my uncle passed away from lung cancer several years ago. Um, I had friends who have died of cancer. Um, and of course, other family members who had cancer. It's a dreadful disease, you know. When it hits home, it's depressing, you know, it's hard. But anyways, that's what's going on in my life. Um, trying to keep it very, very simple. Um, that's it. I hope you guys have a nice day or a nice night. And I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. Maybe you'll see me at the beach. <laughs> see you guys soon. Bye-bye.